The time is 6.30 a.m. Good morning. I am Imain Rido, glad to bring you the Maiden Redemption 101.5 News Bulletin this 21st day of December 2020. First, the headlines. <music> Redemption 101.5 FM commences full transmission today. Village head of Aquabac commences establishment of Redemption 101.5 FM ABAC. Aquabum State Government reintroduces compulsory use of face mask. Wife of Chairman Ikonoluku Government treats children to Christmas party. And in sports, League Management Committee announces commencement date for 2020-2021 Nigeria Premier League season. For details of these and other stories, stay with us. A new radio station, Christian Redemption 101.5 FM, back has commenced full operations following the granting of approval by the National Broadcasting Commission. The station, located in the serene vicinity of Okwabak, had been on test transmission for about a month now. Speaking on the new station, the chairman and chief executive officer, Professor Hazayomana, said RFM 101.5 Abak was initiated to bring fresh perspective to radio broadcasting to the people of the state, particularly those at the grassroots. In the meantime, the village head of Okuabak, Abong Anifyok Okuku Udoma, says the birth of Redemption 101.5, Abak, is a sign that God has forgiven the land and more developmental institutions have come to stay. Speaking in an interview with RFM News, Abong Odoma said the village had been praying to God through monthly solemn assembly at the village square for divine visitation. He reminded youths of Okwabak that the 2014 ban on masquerades using dangerous weapons is still in force and in line with the state government's restriction on large gathering because of COVID-19, large assembly of masquerades in any location within the state, within the village, is not encouraged. The village had urged residents of Okwabak to be receptive and peaceful as the Redemption 101.5 FM APAC will attract more visitors to the area. He commended facilitators of the radio station for citing it in APAC, describing Redemption 101.5 FM as the pride of the people. In the meantime, a back local government area is expected to experience an industrial revolution in a matter of time. The executive chairman of back local government area, Mr. Keritinya, in a telephone interview with RFM News, said the council is already in serious discussion with international investors and the response is positive. Mr. Yang said he will soon inaugurate the International Donors Unit in the council to link up with the vast human resources of a back extraction within and in the diaspora. He said discussion with a Canadian-based investor to establish a nodules manufacturing concerns points a green light, adding that the existence of Redemption 101.5 FM back has projected the local government beyond imagination. He said his administration will be people's centered and civil in interacting with the public. The chairman assured residents and investors of their safety as the security architecture of the local government has been firmed up to checkmate negative tendencies. The council boss has also advised the residents of ABAC to observe all COVID-19 protocols as they celebrate the Yuletide. 
The Aquaibum State Government says the use of face masks is now compulsory in all public buildings, offices, tricycles, and buses. Also affected by the compulsory use of face masks are those in cars, churches, mosques, markets, and hotels. The directive is contained in a statement by the Secretary to the State Government and Chairman COVID-19 Management, Dr. Emmanuel Okuba. The statement noted that in view of the second spike in COVID-19 cases in the country, the state government will no longer tolerate the non-compliance to COVID-19 guidelines and protocols. The state COVID-19 management chairman, while pledging the state government's readiness to fight and contain the pandemic, urged the people to be cautious, keep safe, in order to save others from contacting the virus. Victims of flood disaster in Emeroke Kingdom, Eastern Obolo local government area, have benefited from the gesture of a Kwaibum state government through the State Emergency Relief Agency. The relief materials, including food and other household items, were distributed to over 800 households at Okorita, the headquarters of Eastern Obolo local government area. The State Deputy Governor, Mr. Moses Ebo, at the event, said the gesture was in reaction to a distress call from the community after an underspot assessment of the situation and report to the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA. The Deputy Governor, who was represented by the Permanent Secretary, Ms. Nkuburu Ekaiko, cautioned against building a long natural waterway. The Vice Chairman, Eastern Obolo, Peck Phillips, on behalf of the Chairman, Mr. Abraham Abiyong, commended the federal and state governments for intervening promptly in their predicament. The Believers' Assembly Evangelical Nigeria on Sunday celebrated her Golden Jubilee at its international headquarters, Diabongetu, Uyo. The epoch-making ceremony was attended by eminent persons within the state and beyond. The Aquaibum State Governor, Ms. Imaru, Udo Emmanuel was represented by the wife, Dr. Martha Emmanuel Udo. She remarked that 50 represents freedom and salvation. Mrs. Udo Emmanuel commended prelate Isaiah Song for raising dependable disciples for this generation. The governor's wife conducted the 76th birthday formalities for prelate Song who in turn cut the 50th anniversary cake of the church. Welcoming guest Professor Isaiah Song expressed appreciation to God for the achievements of the past 50 years. The chairman on the occasion, Pastor Omo Eno, encouraged Christian leaders to be steadfast, committed, and focused in order to fulfill their vision. Bishop M. I. Song, on his part, said that God God is looking for distributors of the kingdom's favor, success, joy, and testimonies. He charged Christians to maintain their faith in God. In a vote of thanks, the chief executive officer of Redemption 101.5 FM Abak, Professor Ahazai Omana, lauded efforts of the Believers' Assembly Evangelical to win souls for Christ. Children in a corner local government area at the weekend gathered at the local government secretariat for the 2020 Christmas party. The event organized by wife of the chairman, Econo local government, Mrs. Otobong Nyakno Uemedimo, attracted children from across the local government area. Ndifreka Elijah was there for RFM News now reports. The atmosphere was filled with joy as children from different parts of Econo local government converged on the Secretariat to celebrate their maiden Christmas party. Speaking, the First Lady of Econo local government area, Mrs. Otobong Okuibu, said it was necessary to bring the children together and give them a sense of belonging. I am a mother. I love children a lot and this is what I have passion for. I actually see taking Econo children to the next level. I love 
and have passion in taking care of kids, giving them a sense of belonging, what they can get, what they've never been opportune to have outside their local government, I have come to bring it right here in Econo for the good children of Econo. I, the wife of the executive chairman, decided to do this for this year. First of its kind, never had it ever happened right here in Econo. So it is my desire to take the student to the next level and do more and more things. Parents of the children expressed appreciation for the event only heard of happening in other places but witnessed in Econo for the first time. The event featured red carpet, dance, Christmas carols, games, competition by parents and lots of other varieties to entertain the children. The children's party was attended by Chairman of Econo Local Government Area, Honorable Inyagma Okwebu, ward councillors, past and present political office holders, women groups, and other dignitaries. You are listening to the RFM 101.5 News at 6.30 a.m. Remember, COVID-19 is real. Ensure that you observe all the NCDC protocols. Now to the rest of the news, the National Identification Number Registration Formalities is ongoing in the state at the different centers visited by RFM correspondent. Subscribers who spoke complained of extortion and time-consuming protocols. RFM Jennifer Spires tells us more. I the man in charge. He, he gave me a form. He said the form is 2,000 naira, and I was with 1,000. He said that, that he has to get the 2,000 before I'll be able to fill the form. So it was, it was a very bad experience. Imagine you paying to, be, to become a citizen of your own country and you are paying a lot. They should be considerate. Uh, the last time I came, I wanted to be more than 20 to 10 years. I don't have anything more An official of the MIMC explained that the subscribers were to pay for administrative components of the process. This is a serious matter. We are even told that if you cannot run the office, you should shut down. If you go to some local government, some people are not even reporting because there's nothing for them to do. So who will solicit and ask you to pay a certain amount of money is for us to run the office and service you. For those of you who have this mindset, you the mindset that people are supporting you. We are not expecting anybody. If the government has done what they're supposed to do, before now, we have this level of proof. So the onion is now on you who need this service. And how you react is how we're going to work. The NIMC official at the customer care denied knowledge of extortion of any kind, pointing that the exercise is free and without charge. Jennifer Pius reporting for RFM News. Meanwhile, subscribers at the various networks in OU are responding to the directive for them to have their national identification numbers linked to their mobile numbers. Our correspondent, Emedian David, who visited some offices of the networks, reports that the much-anticipated crowd was absent, as the various networks have provided self-service avenues for the people to link their name through short service codes. Also, subscribers were advised to download nursery applications that would enable them to link their name to their phone numbers. Those who spoke with RFM News expressed satisfaction at a simple approach, but appeal for extension of the deadline. The problem of career choice by students has been identified as a source of future problems for most graduates. To help minimize the effect, a one-day career counseling forum has been organized by core members for selected secondary schools in a back local government area. Students from Comprehensive Secondary School, Adenabak Government Technical College, as well as St. Mary's Science College, Adenabak, participated in the forum. Mr. Oguchiku Emmanuel, of the, one of the organizers, 
stress the need for parents to guide rather than impose career choice on their children. Some of the students, Precious Awak, Marvelous Peter, and Insisong Samuel, agreed with the organizers on the need for independent career choice for future job and personal satisfaction. And now sports. The league management company has confirmed Sunday, the 27th of this month, as a commencement date for the 2020-2021 Nigeria Professional Football League season. This is contained in a statement made available on the verified Twitter handle of the league management company over the weekend. The league organizers say the commencement date was arrived at after consultations with the Nigeria Football Federation participating football clubs of the MPFL, the commercial rights holders and partners of the MLC, LMC. According to the release, federal government through the Minister of Youth and Sports, Mr. Sunday Diary, have also been briefed on the steps to be taken to ensure full compliance with mandatory COVID-19 protocols. To end the news, here are the highlights again. Redemption 101.5 FM has commenced full transmission. The villager of Okuobak has commended establishment of Redemption 101.5 Abak. Akwaibum State Government has reintroduced compulsory use of face mask beginning today in public places. Wife of Chairman of the local government has treated children to this year's Christmas party. And in sports, we told you that League Management Committee has announced commencement date for the 2020-2021 Nigeria Professional Premier League season. And that's the news as produced by Emmanuel Odo and his production team. Good morning.